Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city life. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Good morning, and thanks for joining us. We are so glad you're here. Today, we're in Shawnee National Forest. In this video, we'll show you around Shawnee, and then we'll head over to Casey, Illinois, which is home to the world's largest things, certified largest things. This is the second part of a trip that started with us picking up our Campanaw trailer from Kansas City, Missouri. We'll link the video to that at the end if you haven't seen it. After picking it up, we drove back across Missouri through the Lake of the Ozarks past multiple lakes and then across the Mississippi and into in Illinois. Car, leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand oh, Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Shawnee National Forest stretches all the way across the southern end of Illinois. We were staying in a little section that is furthest northwest in Shawnee National Forest, and it's situated right on the Big Muddy River. Some of you may be familiar with the legend of the Big Muddy Monster. So in the 1970s, the people of Murfreesboro, which is just outside the area we were staying in, were terrorized by a creature that they thought had come out of the Big Muddy River. This is kind of magical. I'll link some information about that below. There have been some books written about it. There was a documentary made yeah, about it. The one that's walking under the <laughs> spider webs. The spider webs. Wait, I'm looking for poison ivy as I'm walking through here. Or singing nettles as you're walking. Oh the... yes, those are horrible. Oh, look at this tree. 
Oh my God, what is that? Uh, watch the branches there coming down. Oh no, what kind of tree is this? The campsite we chose was just a little hike through the woods away from the big muddy river. So of course we had to go explore. I mean, we have, what is it that we have that has, locusts, that oh, has thorns. Leaves look like it. That it could be a locust, yeah. Interesting bark. Oh my goodness. Where's people at? People in the canoe, or? I don't know. Fence line there, so. Oh. I don't know if there's any fence on it, but. Post, oh, post I see there. the post. So, big muddy river. Yep, it's kind of muddy. Mm. We'll have Not to go. really big. Yeah. Say, so we'll have to go down to the boat launch when we leave tomorrow and, like, actually go look at the river from I'll down there. say, look at how high it has been. Yeah. So you can canoe on this river because yeah. there's the boat launch for that. Okay, I'll go back to camp. Sticky trees. I'm more worried about what my uh, ankles are rubbing against here. I didn't know you wanted to do this, I brought the weed with. <laughs> hey. I, I, this is cute. Cute's not the right word. Somebody's got this marked. I didn't do it. <laughs> Think we can get over here? I want to see what's over here. I'm just curious what that is. Without going through a bunch of sticker bushes. Ooh, ground's all tore up over here. Probably things living in there. Hmm? I said probably things living in there. Yep, just a piece of plywood. I'm being buzzed by all kinds of things. Yep. And a beer can. And some bottles. Okay, let's get back out of here before we get eaten alive. Turns out I was right to be concerned about what I was walking through, what my ankles were brushing against. The next day I discovered chigger bites all up and down my legs. For those of you not familiar with chiggers, they're really common in like moist, warm areas. So this was the, the perfect habitat for them. They're little bitty tiny red bugs that you can barely even see with the human eye, but their bites itch and burn like crazy. <clears throat> we didn't see any sign of the big muddy monster though did you guys see anything in the background that we missed another thing that's in murfreesboro that we're really fond of is big muddy brewing 
if you're ever in the area, definitely stop and check them out. Now that we'd made it back to camp, I started dinner. And while we waited for dinner to cook, Tim caught up with TikTok. And I spent a little bit of time trying to capture a video of this butterfly that was all over camp. He's a skittish butterfly, but he really likes heckin' camp. Heckin' off. What are we calling it? Heckin' off? Yeah, heckin' off. Okay, so here's what we're having for dinner. Marinated chicken, rice, vegetables. Can't see the vegetables in there. I swear there's vegetables in there. Here, I'll dig one out. Okay, green beans, carrots. There's green beans, she's some peas. orange carrots. <laughs> Glaze marinated. And what are you drinking? Me? Yeah. I am having a public house cream ale. And you're getting buzzed by something. Yeah. Very it's buzzy. A big yellow hornet. And I'm drinking cream Coffee. soda. No. no, cream soda with cinnamon moonshine. From mixed in Ozark distilling called a cinnamon roll. Yeah, they call it a cinnamon roll. So we bought some uh, cinnamon moonshine, mix a little cream soda in it, and you have a cinnamon roll. Is it edible? Mm -hmm. For just a quick thrown together camp dinner. Okay, we're gonna enjoy. After dinner, I chase the butterfly a little bit more, and then threw some sheets and blankets in the campanile to make up the bed. It was over 80 degrees, so we closed it up and figured out how to work the AC, um, the Zero Breeze, which is a battery-operated air conditioner. I have to say, it was a pleasant first night sleeping. Welcome to Tim's Morning Woodland Coffee Shop. All important things have to be done first thing. Good morning, everyone. The next morning before we left, Tim sent the drone up for a while to check things out. And then we packed everything up and headed to Casey, Illinois, the little town with big things. Casey, Illinois is about halfway between St. Louis, Missouri and Indianapolis, Indiana. We hadn't planned to stop here. We actually knew nothing about it. 
it was just a coincidence that we stopped here for gas and saw all the information about the big things in Casey. Growing up, I spent my summers about a half an hour from here in the little town of Paris, Illinois. I'm not sure when all these bigger things started popping up, but I'm guessing it must have been after my time. We just took a quick drive around town to see what we could spot before we got back on the highway to head home. Bird cage over here. It's a kid cage. There is a lot more to see than what we were able to spot on our short drive around, and we definitely would consider coming back. It was already getting late in the day, though, and we had to get home and get ready for work tomorrow. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world